Now I would like to tie for you a pheasant tail flimph. The hook I have in the vise is a size 16. This is a two extra long nymph hook. I'm going to start with my 6 out 70 denier black thread. And I'm going to put a base down. And I'm going to stop just about at the barb. That didn't work too good that time. Now I have a piece of small piece of foam and I have it cut it like a wedge. And this is going to aid in the floating. This is sticky back foam. And I'm going to tie that in. And I want to keep that on top. This will also help to shape the body. And you don't need but a couple of uh, wraps to get that down. And I'm going to remove that. Man. Secure that better. Cut the thread, but the sticky tape kept it good. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it tighter towards the back. I want to kind of squash it. And up front, we don't want it as tight. I'm going to take the thread back and I'm going to take. Uh, about six or eight ring neck pheasant tail fibers. And I only want this to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to give it two, two, two or three wraps and then I'm going to pull it to size. And put a wrap underneath. And that one I'm going to wrap in. Okay, now I'm going to take a fine copper wire and take that fine copper wire and tie it in. And pull that to the short. And I'm going to bring the thread up. That one tail piece that came forward on it. And bring that thread up to the top. I'm going to twist the pheasant tail. Bring it to the back. and wrap it up the body. And I'm going to stop it there. Trim away the excess. I'm going to take the fine copper wire and I'm going to counter wrap it. And counter wrapping is going the opposite direction as you would normally wrap. And counter wrapping a pheasant tail helps provide security for the pheasant tail from getting broke on teeth. And I'm just going to cut this off. You can usually helicopter it off. Tag that down. 
And now I'm going to take a bit of beaver hair to make a thorax. <clears throat> Don't need a lot. We've got a small section there. And maybe a little more than that. And wrap that. Now I'm going to take a Dunn CDC feather. And I'm going to tie that in by the tip. I'm just going to pull back on all of those. And trim off that tip. Get that thread. There we go. You know, I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to give it like two two turns, and that should be enough. Once. Twice and tie that off. Put a wrap or two in front. I'll block it in place. And now we can cut that CDC feather off. There we go, bring that bring those all around and secure the head. And I'm gonna whip finish it. Tug that tight. Get rid of the thread. Now I'm going to take a lighter and I'm just going to use the bottom and get that out of the way, those little fuzzies. Now I can take my head cement, clean the brush off good. And head cement that all the way around. There we have a pheasant tail flimph. If you like my videos, you learn stuff from it. Do me a favor and let your friends know. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.